Hey everybody, so quick tip Thursday, I'm going to show you a really cool trick called add your bin to favorites. So let's say I wanted to open any bin, doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I'm going to say this VO, let's say for some reason I wanted this VO bin here. Now what's going to happen in your project window here, Avid's going to you know, open this bin in, in, in certain cases, might say other bins, depends on what kind of setting and server you're on. But if you find that bin in that bottom folder and right click it and down here you're going to see something called add bin to favorites. And so what happens is that bin is now in your favorite bin folder which every project from now on will have this. So we're going to see in a second here, I'll show you that. So this S21 field VO, I just added it to my favorite bin. Now what do I have in my favorite bins? I of course have a bin with just my all my favorite effects that I use all the time. I have a bin uh, for the show I work on for audience clips that we'll, maybe we'll reuse over and over again. Um, and instead of going file open bin, they're in every single project I ever open. They're in favorite bins. Because as long as you have one bin that you right clicked and said add bin to favorites, they will be there forever. So let's uh, show that example right now. I'm going to make a new project. Okay, I'm going to name, uh, eventually I'll do a show called S5009, and I won't even sign into Interplay just for this tutorial's purposes. For those of you who are Interplay people and say, well, don't open bin, I'll have to have a video on that someday about how uh, you got to cross the streams and you got to open bins in Interplay. I have no problem with it. I open thousands and thousands of bins in Interplay. The key is logging in and out. You don't want to be logged in when you're opening bins. But as long as you're logged out, opening bins in Interplay is cool. All right, so we're going to have a bin here. And now, look, this project, which I just made, has all the bins that I put in added to favorite, including the one we just added, S21 Field VO. So now I just made a new project. I don't have to open these bins. I don't have to get them. They're all accessible in any new project I make. So that's why that right click add bin to favorites is a really, really super, super cool tool. And you should definitely use it. Um, when you're starting out, get your effects bin in there. This way, every project from now on has bins that you will use all the time. I have my favorite music bins, uh, my favorite clip bins that I use all the time, things like that. And now the same reason, I want to get rid of this um, from my ad bin to favorites. I just hit backspace and it is gone. It is not out of the world or anything it's just out of my favorites folder and it won't be in my new project there so that's it right there that's my quick tip thursday it is labor day weekend i'm going to be drinking a lot this weekend so i'm going to try to drink i never had it before something called dogfish head brewery slightly mighty because it's really low calories 95 calories a can i've been drinking so much beer this summer i've probably gained about 12 to 15 pounds so i'm going to start losing that by drinking some of the lighter beers hope you have a great weekend everybody avidbeer.com i'll see you in the next video